Hello everyone, today we will tie up Victoria. To begin, we untie our rope nice and easy. If you want to know how to do this, watch another video. We will be tying the knot that received the most likes on my Instagram, as many of you have asked about it. This is a quick and easy knot. <laughs> to start, we make a pretzel shape from the rope. Once we've done this, we take these two loops, which kind of look like ears, put them on top of each other and extend them like this. Keep in mind that the knot should be in the middle and shouldn't be moved. Okay, now we have our ears. We place them on Victoria, like a backpack. Okay. And make, tie, make it tight. You can make a knot here or you can skip it, but I prefer to make one, to be sure that nothing loosens or comes undone. So now you can see that it looks like a backpack. We can easily remove it by loosening it a bit. The knots here in the back are the simplest, most well-known knots. Now we do another simple knot. Do it like that, and then stretch the ears until then you can wear them as a backpack again. Stretch it, take the hands, wear it, then tighten it. Wear it in the middle between the tricep and the shoulder, so you should be able to feel the correct placement with your hand. Ask your model to keep her hands together, so the knots don't end up untightening when we finish the last knot, which brings the hands together. Do the same easy knot, leaving about a 2-3 finger space in between the knots. Okay, make the loop, take ears out and repeat. Don't put your rope on the elbow because it may hurt your model. Now we've finished our dragonfly and we still have quite a lot of rope left. Here you see, that's quite a lot, how should we use it? Just make your dragonfly more beautiful. You start by wrapping both ends of the rope on the ears we already made. Afterward, you will still have more rope left, so wrap more. To make the knots look good, cross the two ends of the rope behind the vertical portion. Then we cross them in front of it and continue wrapping the ears that are higher. By now the rope almost finished, but we still want to continue, so make a loop in the middle of your rope, stick your fingers through it like this. Then pull your fingers back from both sides of the rope, making something that looks like a simpler pretzel, then put its ears together. Put your loop on the end of the remaining rope and tighten it. 
Оно никуда не уедет. Continue wrapping in the same manner. It's very monotonous. Be ready for this. And one more time, we do the same thing with two ends of rope. Finish by crossing the rope behind the vertical portion and put it in front of the body. Crossed it and put it in front. The knot in the back is now done. You can leave it like this and you will already impress people with your skills. But in my case, Victoria has some nice boobs, so I'd like to add an easy decorative knot to make them look even better. To start, take the rope in the front and wrap the two ends together like this. Under these beautiful boobs, you divide the ropes and wrap them around to the back. In order not to ruin everything, you gently pass the rope behind the dragonfly to the front again. Wrap the model with both sides of the rope. When you take the rope to the front, you need to put it over the boobs. Make it double. Keep in mind that this is a decorative knot, it doesn't really hold anything super tight. Double the rope by crossing it again in the front. Wrap the model again. Once there, make the same simple knot behind the vertical rope. If you still have a little bit of rope left, you can just hide it under double ropes here. Okay, this is done. So, what do we have here? We have immobilized our model's hands, ensuring that the hands don't turn blue by not placing the last knot on her wrists. If you put it there, her palms would turn blue and cold very quickly. So, we started from the top, moved to the bottom. So, our model is not blue, not cold, and stays happy. <laughs>